was he? That's the question. Jesus Christ, who are you? Who is Jesus? We can't escape him. We try to run from him, but there he is. He keeps popping up everywhere. Our greatest philosophers write about him. Our greatest historians write about him. Our greatest poems and plays are about him. Our greatest architecture is about him, even in the Soviet Union. You go to the Kremlin. I've been in the Kremlin, and it's all filled with paintings and pictures about Jesus. You go anywhere in the Soviet Union, and you'll see images and art and much of the music has to do with Jesus. They can't escape him. Well, we know some things about him. We know he was a man. Jesus was completely human. He was representative of man because the Bible says he was identified, he was numbered with the transgressors. We know that he was hungry. We know he got thirsty. We know he got tired. We know that he had the joys of friendship. We know that he wept at the tomb of a dead loved one. We know that he had all the characteristics of a man, and yet, very interestingly, the Bible says that he never committed a sin. In fact, he stood in front of the people of his generation and he said, I've never committed a sin. He said, if any of you, my neighbors, ever seen me commit a sin, they couldn't say a thing. Now, wouldn't that be something for a man to come along, 33 years of age, and say, who of you have ever seen me commit a sin? Well, I'll tell you, if I said that, all my team would jump straight up and say, I have. My wife's here. All of us are sinners, but Jesus was tempted in every point like as we are. He went through every temptation you've ever been through. There isn't a trial or a testing or a temptation that Jesus has not been through before you, and he resisted them and overcame them all. Everyone, he was a man, just like you. But he was more than that. He claimed to be the unique, only begotten, incarnate Son of God. In fact, he claimed pre-existence. The scripture says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Before time began, he existed. He said, before Abraham was, I am. I am in eternal existence. No wonder they got angry. No wonder they threw stones at him. No wonder they tried to kill him. And no wonder they eventually did crucify him. He stood and said, I am God. Was he? Was he who the, he claimed to be? The son of the living God? One day he asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? And Peter answered and said, well, some of them say you're John the Baptist, come back, or you're Jeremiah, or you're Elijah. He said, I'm really not interested in what the people say. I'm interested, Peter, in what you say. What do you say? Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, Peter, you've done well. You've passed your examination. But Peter, those are not your thoughts. Those thoughts came from God. It has been revealed to you by God. Jesus Christ claimed to be the Son of the living God. And you know, at his incarnation, or his birth, that was not his birth. Oh, that wasn't the beginning. That wasn't the origin of Jesus. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of his incarnation. Because he has always existed. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God, the Bible says. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. In other words, the Logos, the Word of God, 
the eternal God became flesh in the person of Jesus Christ and lived like a man among us. God knows every one of you by name. He has the hairs of your head numbered. God looks upon you as though you were the only person in the whole universe. He sees you and you alone. And on that cross, Jesus had the capacity to think of you. And he loved you enough to stay on the cross. Was there ever such love as that? When he could have been rescued and taken back to heaven and to sit on his throne, but he didn't. He said, no. I'm doing it for the joy that is set before me because he saw that he would be raised from the dead. He saw that there would be a gathering in the generations to come of a people for his name that would make up his body. He saw the day when we will reign with him in his kingdom.